Canada, your ginger ale is grand. Why try to make it something different? Yes, I'm back with another taste test. And uh, Canada Dry is starting to branch out a little bit. And they have different flavors now. They had the bold ginger ale, which I really didn't like too much. I mean, Canada Dry, when you talk ginger ale, it's Canada Dry and the rest are way down here. I mean, it's as big as margin as the Mets 1986 NL Eastern Division when they won by 21 and a half games. But they've come out with some new versions and this one is Cranberry Ginger Ale. Of course, cranberries are popular in New Jersey. We got a ton of them. I think we have more cranberries in the state of New Jersey in the Pine Barren, er Pine Barren area. Of course, you know, that's South Jersey though, so it's technically not really New Jersey. There's two New Jersey's, North Jersey. I mean, you got, you got some Philly fans down there, but it's almost like more like Alabama down in that area. And that's of course uh, where Polly Walnuts and uh, uh, got lost with my, with uh, Chris. I mean, they're still looking for that Russian. We're walking around for hours. I lost my shoe. We found some old truck. That, who knows, that Russian might be swimming in the cranberry bog right now down there in Cumberland County. But anyway, we got this Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ale and we're gonna give this a try. Why not, why ask why? We're gonna give Canada Dry a try. Bam, boom, 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 boom. You know, you don't really, the cranberry doesn't overwhelm this. It still tastes like ginger ale. But with just a hint of cranberry. And you know, it's just the right amount. It's just the right, Canada Dry found the right formula. This is outstanding. I'm gonna give this an 8.7. Once again, Canada Dry shows when it comes to ginger ale, there is no other. It's Canada Dry, and then you settle for the rest.